And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just going back again, and we got ourselves another big matchup here, as this will be one of the biggest ones of the season. The Austin Wranglers will be hosting the Cincinnati Slash in this one. The 9 2 Slash looking to see if they can come across the winners here in this one. As we'll back out, we'll check the standings here for both teams. Wranglers right behind the slash. A win here for the Wranglers would allow them to be able to tie the slash and be able to take advantage of the division. So definitely a close one here with the Dragons also a half game behind the Wranglers. They're also looking to stay in the hunt. The Rush a half game above the Gladiators at 9-4. and four. They're trying to see if they can secure a big playoff spot for themselves as well. So we'll get into the stats real quick. I'm going to look at one individual thing, to be honest. We're going to see how the defense is doing for the team as uh, Mike Horacek ties Joseph Burns for most interceptions in the league right now with nine with Onomatopoeia picking up three last week he's got eight and Cornelius Bonner right behind him with seven so Mike Horsek the only guy that's up there in the top with interceptions but three of the slash players are closing in on ten interceptions for the year thankfully no injuries for either team on this week so we're going to see how well things go adrian mcpherson one of the best quarterbacks in the league is going to be taking the field he's got john fitzgerald behind him if need be kevin nickerson offensive specialist will be somebody looking to stop damon mason Devontis Franklin, Nate Coggins, and Devron Harper are going to be all the defensive specialists for the Wranglers with Donovan Arp on the left end and Raymond Richardson backing him up on the right side of the line. Aaron Humphrey with Angel Rubio behind him. Eric Thomas will wedge between the two with Tyrone Johnson being his replacement if need be. Dane Krager is going to be the fullback in this one. We'll have to see if we can stop him as Darren Chivarini is going to be receiver linebacker with Fred Coleman replacing him if possible. Cedric Robinson and P.J. Winston will be the wide receiver D-back duo as Todd Seavers and Pierre Conway, the kickers for this one. Seavers will be trying to see if he can give his team some points if they can't reach the end zone. So the Slash going to Texas to see if they can take on the Wranglers and beat them. It is week 13. Let's see how things go. So here we go. Frank Irwin Center here in Austin, Texas. Going to be the site of this matchup as uh, the Slash will make their way onto the field. Definitely see how well things go in this game. One thing we have got to try and do is cause turnovers, as that is going to be the big way that we're going to win this one. Did not look over the overall stats and everything with you guys, but uh, the Wranglers have a real good run game, and they'll be trying to utilize that here in this one. So may not be blitzing as much as we might like, but we will be trying our best to see if we can put some work in as the Wranglers ready to play. We're going to call heads one more time. Worked out last time and it works out this time as well. So we'll get the football to them first as the Wranglers will take first possession. So here we go. McKenzie Homebreaker will start things off. National Southern standings, as you see there, but it's not showing the Wranglers. They are one game right behind us in the conference. We'll see how well things go here. First 
attempt here at this ball game and we're going to have a return out to the six yard line robinson takes it back first and ten here so we'll try not to blitz so much in this game we have to keep an eye out for the run Chiaverini to the right, Nickerson, and Robinson to the left. Chiaverini is going to run, and that's going to be an incompletion as uh, Velcro was over there, but he could not quite get there. Second down now as McPherson missed on the first attempt. Nickerson off the line. We'll see how he does here. McPherson back to pass. He's looking. Gonna be a good throw over the middle and Jones. Oh, Victor Velcro with the hit that popped it loose. That'll be an incompletion. Third and ten now. This is where we normally foul things up, but we'll try to see if we can get something here. Nickerson off the line. He will take off. Third down. It's gonna be a huge throw there, and Joseph Burns can't get over there in time. Touchdown as the Wranglers score on a big heave. I thought about taking over on that one, but I did not want to ruin it. I should have, as Seavers will kick this one up in and good. 7 nothing Wranglers as they strike first. So three plays, 44 yards, and that's going to be a touchdown. McPherson hits Nickerson in the back of the end zone. And now it's a slash turn to see what they can do offensively. As this will go way out of play, so I'll put the ball at the 20. So first and 10 now. Velcro, Rutledge, and Bonner are the receivers. Let's see what Russell can dial up on first down. Back to pass here. He's going to launch that one toward the end zone, and Rutledge has got it. Back right corner of the end zone, Damian Rutledge gets his first catch. Dan Russell completes his first pass, and it's a touchdown. A 30-yarder as Homebreaker will attempt to tie the football game up. That will be up in and good. So 7-0, slash strike quickly, and tie this back up 7-all. So the one thing I do like about this color scheme, I do like the white helmets. It does look pretty clean. Um, I'm just kind of really close to doing black a lot. Does that go out of bounds? That's an illegal procedure. So they gave us the ball at the 20. Now it's our turn to give it to them on the 21st and 10. Austin. They scored on the first drive. Can they do it again? Giverini to the right. And they'll go back to pass. Good throw there. And that is swatted. Burns able to keep up with his man. That is going to be incomplete. Second and 10. McPherson with one completion so far out of four attempts. But that one completion was a touchdown. Robinson will go in motion. Back to pass here. McPherson throws it over the middle. DeWan Moss got an interception. That is going to be a huge turn. There's coach over talking to Humphrey, trying to see if he can get into the man's head to try and motivate him. So we'll see how well things go here. We're going to try and see how well the run will work as uh, Dewan Moss with an interception. Now we'll see if we can get him some yards on the ground. As that's going to be a good toss there. Moss will get at least two, maybe three. As he's taking out the 21, so two-yard gain. So Bonner... Rutledge Velcro, the receivers here. Van Diver is playing tight end at the moment, but normally do not do tight end passes. That's going to be a good throw to the left as Cornelius Bonner's got one inside the 10 at the 6, first and goal. So good pass, good catch. As Russell had a little bit of pressure in his face, but he was able to get the ball out in time. 
As here we go, first and goal is that's gonna be a toss out muscle, get inside the five, maybe the four. So a couple yards there. The Juan Moss has been pretty consistent lately. He's only fumbled once this year, so it's really good that he's been able to uh, keep the football a lot more as that time. He's not going anywhere. I think he just lost the two yards he just got. So that's going to make it third down. We'll try the double post here. As Joseph Burns is now out there as a receiver. Put him on a uh, sharper slant here. Back to pass here. Burns is going for the corner. Can't quite get it incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down as the defense holds for Austin. The one thing we just not really good at is getting consistency in the short yardage game here. We'll go for the field goal to take the lead. I messed up that a few weeks ago made that bad decision so this time we'll try and make a better one as that is up in and good thankfully the accuracy of mckenzie homebreaker was better than my faulty stick skills one and a half minutes left in this first quarter mckenzie homebreaker hits a 20-yard field goal six plays 19 yards after the interception they net three points on the drive So Homebreaker will kick the cover off the football here. As that'll be a big one. That'll go off the net. Joseph Burns, big hit on Robinson as he goes down. He'll be back at the six-yard line once again, first and ten. So both teams, 44 and 45 yards on their first few drives. So it's been pretty good for both teams. Back to pass here as Johnson got knocked down and Nickerson's got another big catch as Victor Velcro was able to trip him up and put him on the ground. So that stopped a big score there, but now it's going to be first and ten and we got to play some defense. McPherson's only completed two passes, but uh, one was a touchdown. Sadly, another one was an interception as uh, Chiaverini spins out of a tackle, but he can't go anywhere as Golston made the tackle. Good tackle by him to contain his man, second and 10 at the 10. No gain on that play. Johnson sits back down as Vandiver comes back out after a short rest. That's going to be a run there by Chiaverini one more time, but no gain again. So third and ten. So the slash playing some good run defense at the moment. Van Diver, Golston, and Viong are out there on the D-line trying to see if they can cause some problems. Third down. As oh big hit there on the quarterback, and Cornelius Bonner was able to reach up and swat the football. That's gonna be incomplete. Fourth down. And so they make one good pass and then McPherson cannot complete the drive, so Sievers will kick the, the field goal. That'll be up, over, and good. So a tie ball game one more time. Ten all. So this will be the final play of the first quarter. 25-yard field goal by Sievers. Five plays, 35 yards, and they were able to get something out of it. As they'll go off the net, Joseph Burns will get a return here. Pretty good return as he gets past the 15. That'll be the end of the first quarter. As everybody faces through the wall because they're video game characters. Austin Wranglers and Cincinnati Slash tied at 10 after one. So here we go. Victor Rutledge and Bonner are the guys out there. As Rutledge will take off, back to pass for Russell. He's going to launch out one to the corner of the end zone. And Damian Rutledge has got another touchdown. That is two for him as the long ball is working. 
We don't need to drive if we can just bomb it in one play. Damian Rulledge with another touchdown catch from Dan Russell. As that was a big one. And uh, that kick is a good one. So that will give the Slash a seven-point lead once again. 17-10 over the Wranglers at the moment. 33-yard pass from Russell to Rulledge. They only needed one play as Russell is hitting his targets today. Let's see how well things go here. Kickoff home breaker will kick it deep. This will go off the net as that is going to be a return by Robinson. The ball's on the ground and Bernard Bailey on top of that one. That is going to be a turnover. That is two for the Wranglers. Bernard Bailey laid the wood on the return man Robinson and Robinson coughed up the football. That's going to give the slash first and goal on the eight-yard line. So definitely having trouble early with the turnovers. As Moss will get this one, he'll go wide around to the right. Touchdown slash. As DeWan Moss gets another touchdown two weeks in a row that he has scored on the ground. That should be 12 touchdowns for him on the season as he is one of the league leaders so far in rushing touchdowns. With that score, that'll give the Slash a bit of a cushion, 23-10 now, so a two-score lead for them as Homebreaker will line up the extra point here. The one Moss has been pretty consistent all year about carrying the football. He's had more positive yards than he has had in the seasons past as he averages about uh, 10 yards plus per game. I'd say about um, 15 on some of the better days. But so far he's uh, at that mark already. 24-10 Cincinnati over our Austin at the moment as this kick is gonna go between the uprights and that'll go behind the wall. And then uh, Joseph Burns a little too eager to get downfield. So that'll put the ball on the 10 yard line of the slash, first and goal. So this may be a big penalty here. Krager behind his quarterback could be an option here, but they will pass it. And uh, oh, McPherson tried to go past the line and Goldston able to drag him down no gain as he saw nobody open. But he uh, could not get that one to go anywhere but back the line 80 yards so far for the wranglers out of 10 plays see if they can get another 10 here so that's going to be krager and krager plowing through everybody he can finally tripped up by victor velcro as he got eight yards on that one big scamper there by krager as now there's going to be a golden opportunity to score here so that is going to be looking, looking, and that is going to be batted down. And there's a holding penalty. Do we back them up or do we just make it fourth down? We'll go fourth down here. We will decline the penalty as there was a big holding. We'll see if we can stop them here on fourth down. They will actually try and go for it. So we'll play our run defense that we normally do. McPherson two for eight on the day, so he's getting worse statistically as we go along. We need to stop Krager here, and that's going to be a pass. They're going to throw it, and that is incomplete. Turnover on downs. Onamana, Pia in front of it. So a huge turnover on downs there as the slash will take over. Back to pass here. Rutledge is going to get jammed up. We're going to throw that one to Velcro, who will stay on his feet and get near midfield down the 24-yard line. So Russell was looking at Rutledge. Rutledge was jammed at the line. And so he decided to toss that one to Victor Velcro, who made the catch. Now Russell over 100 yards there on the day. So definitely great news for him. 
Is this going to be back to pass? Going to look for Russell Rutledge again. He's open. Touchdown slash. They are running away with a football game now. That deep post is a great route for that man. Damian Rutledge is hard to stop and unless you cheap shot him like that. With that score, the Slash going to increase their lead. Now three possessions as it is 30 to 10 at the moment. Extra point pending here as McKenzie Homebreaker will line up for yet another routine kick. Now, not really routine with my stick. As inaccurate as it normally is. 2.11 left in the half as Russell hits Rutledge for a 25 yarder. Two plays, 47 yards. And they quickly go downfield and score as Russell has had little to no trouble today. He's had some pressure, but he has not been wavering at all today as that is going to be a good kick. And that will be off the net and caught taking down the 10 robinson will give the wranglers a first down from there so the austin wranglers are struggling offensively they've got yards but they just cannot get downfield as much as they'd like as i say that and she very any breaks open for a touchdown as burns drags him down in the back of the end zone so that was a horrible little thing I said. I just jinxed my team. Onomatopoeia was over there in coverage and uh, lost his guy. Chiaveraini grabs it and they quick strike as that is up in and good. Seavers with a good extra point there. So now down to two score, 31 to 17. As Austin comes back with one play, McPherson to Chiaveraini on one of the few plays he's done today. That has worked out. This kick will go off the net, and Joseph Burns will get the return. As uh, he will go flying over the boards near the 15, first and 10. So here we go, about a minute 20 to go. Velcro, Bonner, and Rutledge are out there. Back to pass here. Rutledge is going to get open. He's got the ball, and he's got room, and he's gone. Damian Rutledge on that sweeping little post route. He goes to the post, and then he slants, and that gets him wide open as he's got that speed that not a lot of players in the AFL can manage as that will put them back up by three scores, 37-17. Extra point on the way here. As Russell has been really gunning the football, bombing this thing downfield all day today with little to no regard and little to no stoppages. One play, 36 yards, Russell hits Rutledge. And they quickly score and regain their big lead that they have accumulated so far as this will be a big kick there and a bad one that'll go flying out of bounds I really thought I had adjusted a little more than I thought I did a little bit lackluster on that kick so first and ten on the 20 after that illegal procedure Chiaverini to the right, Nickerson Robinson to the left as Chiaverini goes in motion. Back to pass and uh, McPherson gets away and he gets nailed. Joseph Burns hits him just past midfield as that is a timeout by Austin. They get eight yards there. McPherson won the sneakier quarterbacks as he was able to run through the line. Everybody was blocked or otherwise on the ground. Chiaverini to the left now. He goes in motion. Less than a minute to go. As that is a quick throw to Robinson. He's got it inside the 15. First down, Austin. McPherson now completing passes as he should be. Second timeout used up. They've got one left. Chiaverini now to the right. Nickerson off the line. He takes off. Here we go. And he's going to throw that left, and Joseph Burns 
can't quite get it, but Nickerson can inside the 10, second and five, as they're going to no huddle here. So 40 seconds left. Looking there, that was going to be tipped. And uh, Bonner able to take the guy down as he tries to catch it, but no good there. Third and five as uh, Austin trying to see if they can get something going here. Beyond Van Diver, Ghostin looking to see if they can cause some problems on the line. Robinson takes off. As that is going to be a big throw to the right, and McPherson's got it. Touchdown as Velcro drags him down. 32 seconds left. Cincinnati will call timeout here. As this will be the extra point. Sevier's going to see if he can bring them back within a couple of scores. And that will be up in and good. Sevier's accurate today as well as he can be and needs to be. 31 seconds left in the half. Eight-yard pass from McPherson to Robinson. Five plays, 30 yards, and McPherson able to wheel his team down the field as that is going to go flying way out of bounds. So I'll put the ball in the 20. So the clock will be ticking here shortly. Probably going to try and bomb this again to Rutledge as that post route has been keyed today. Going to bomb that to the end zone. Damian Rutledge all day. Touchdown as the slash score again. The Austin Wranglers cannot play good enough defense to stop this air attack. As Robinson is taking offense to that. That is going to start the clock. As Austin may be looking to try and call a timeout here. Or they just may let it go to the half. As we'll let the clock run down so that way we can get the ball back and try and increase this lead even more. We'll hike it at about a couple of seconds, maybe one second. As that'll be up in and good. And that'll increase the lead to 21. At the end of one half of football, Cincinnati slash lead the Austin Wranglers 45-24 as the Wrangler cheerleaders have got to try and motivate their guys to fight. They have got to keep fighting in this one. They cannot give up. It has been a tough game for the Wranglers. A couple of turnovers have definitely been one of the keys in this one as we'll take a look at the stats. Slash lead 45-24 after one half of football. 191 yards passing for the slash, 12 rushing yards. Wranglers have 140 passing yards, 17 rushing yards. So the rush game is doing pretty well, but the pass game is not bad either. Slash only over one on third down, as they have a couple of takeaways in this game: one interception, one fumble recovery. Wranglers are two for four on the day, but over one on fourth down. The penalties for the slash have been hurting them, but. It has not destroyed them yet. Adrian McPherson improves his rating to a 95-2 while having 140 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He's 6 for 14 on the day, so sub-50. So he's going to try and see if he can improve that in the second half. While Damian, Dan Russell, 158.3 rating, 191 yards, five touchdowns. He is 7 for 8 on the day, so near perfect with an 87% completion rating on that one. Both quarterbacks able to get away without a sack in this one. We will take a short break here, at least I will, but you will be right back for the second half of football. See you in just a moment. And now Austin going to be trying to see if they can make something happen. They have got to play some defense today because they have not been playing enough as this kick will go off the net, Joseph Burns will get a return here. And he ah, ran straight into the guy. Should have went the other way, but that's fine. Ball is going to be down at the 15-yard line, so a good return there. We will run the football here on first down and see if we can get some yards. So let's see how things go here first down. As Dwan Moss has definitely had one good run today, and there's going to be a decent one, maybe a yard, and maybe not. 
As that will be one yard. So second down now. Bonner, Rutledge, and Velcro are the targets in this one. We'll put Bonner on that streak and way he kind of gets out of the way of everything. Back to pass there. Rutledge hung up a little bit, but he's going to get free. Breaks the tackle, but he runs up against the dasher boards. It's a first down at least, so that is good for them on that one. Ball on the 19-yard line. Rutledge now 170 yards receiving. Six receptions, five touchdowns. That was the first catch he had that was not a score. As Moss will get the handoff and the linebackers are all over him. Good tackle there. That's a loss of a couple. So let's see what we do here. We're going to try, try this double post. I said we'll change up Rutledge. Normally put him on the in route, but put him on the slant this time. As Rutledge will get open. He will catch that inside the five. First and goal on the four-yard line as Rutledge gets yet another catch. He crashes against the boards of Robinson talking trash to him. Huh. Thankfully, he is okay, though. So let's see if we can get Dewan Moss to get at least four yards here. As that is going to be Rutledge with 186 yards so far on the day. He has been stellar. As Rutledge will take off, this will be a good handoff. Moss could not get around Velcro, so that's going to be a loss of a few there. I'll actually call that a one-yard loss. <clears throat> Trying to see if we can do this again on second down. If Velcro can get a good block and I can get around there, it'd be what, what we need is that is going to be a good read by the linebacker. He got back there quickly. So not the best thing there. We'll try yo-yo cross in again as that has been a stellar option. <clears throat> Back to pass here for Russell. He's got Rutledge open. He fired that one in there as Rutledge got wide open. There was nobody within five yards of him, and that's going to be another touchdown for him. I believe that is number six for that man, as he has been the target today. So that will increase this lead even more, 51-24, so... A 27-point lead at the moment. This will make it 28 if it goes in, and it will. Up in and good. 52 to 24. The slasher dominating in this game so far. It has been no doubt. Nine-yard pass from Russell to Rutledge. Seven plays, 39 yards. Russell is on point today, and Rutledge is doing everything he can to catch everything that comes near him. As that is going to be a big kick, but that will fly out of the back of the end zone in the corner there. So that will be a touchback. Thankfully, that was not as bad as the previous attempts. 236 left in the third quarter. All three receivers to the left. Nickerson will take off. As that is going to be a run attempt there, but... McPherson cannot go anywhere as he is taken down. Not sure who got him, but that will be a loss. No sack there as he had chose to run. But that is one of the few times we've been able to cause a loss in the backfield. Nickerson off the line here. And he'll take off. And that is going to be a huge hit there. As that, I believe, was Thomas Vion who made the hit there. That's going to be an incompletion. Third and 11 now at the four-yard line. Thomas Vion causing some problems right now. Nickerson off the line. The other receivers split him. And uh, that's going to be a run. Bonner can't get him. McPherson making some good runs. 
And that was a big run there they needed. That's going to get them close to midfield first and 10. McPherson able to get past everybody on that one. As uh, Johnson will come in now for Vion to replace him. As they'll toss this one out to Shia Verini. And Verini is going to run against the boards and go nowhere else. But a good gain, about five yards as Audubonapia takes him down. That's going to give it seven, actually. So second and three on the slash 20. Minute and a half to go in the quarter. As Austin driving, they've got to try and continue to do so. Back to pass there. Good throw to the right. Nickerson only stopped by the wall, and Joseph Burns pinned him to it. That's going to be first and goal. As they are now driving and the slasher finding it hard to stop them. First and goal at the three. As you see McPherson's career numbers, almost 10,000 yards. As he'll probably have that by the time this season is done. As that's going to be a toss out to the left. And Coleman, who came in, gets stopped. Joseph Burns, a big TFL. That'll be a loss of four yards on that one. Joseph Burns runs into the backfield unblocked and that caused that big loss there. So that's going to make it second and goal. All three receivers to the left. Robinson runs left to right. And uh, McPherson's going to take off, but he can't get away from everybody. That'll be a holding penalty on Thomas as well as uh, they got stopped on that one. McPherson tried to sneak. He tried to roll out to the right, and he could not. So that will push him back even further. Second and goal on the 17-yard line. Now Dave Barnes comes in, Tony Sharper as well, as they are taking over for the big guys that are tired. That's going to be McPherson throwing that one left, and Shia Varini outruns Onomatopoeia, makes that catch. That's a touchdown. They've still got a ways to go, though. That'll bring them within three scores, but, man, they got a lot of work to do in the set in the final quarter as Severs will line up for the kick as that is going to be up in and good so Chiaverini able to get that touchdown snag and that is going to give Austin 31 points on the day 17 yard pass from McPherson to Chiaverini 8 plays 47 yards but they have got to speed things up here as that kick will go way out of play and that is going to be it for that one So this will probably be the last play of the third quarter. Try and see if we can toss this out to Boss. And that'll be a good toss there. Boss will get a few. He'll get about two, maybe three there, as that is going to be it for the third quarter. Three-yard gain by Moss to end it. Slash leading the Wranglers 52-31. to Final quarter on its way. So a 21-point deficit is what Austin has to overcome here. The problem is, is they do not have a lot going for them. As this will be a toss out to the left, and then Moss will cut back upfield. Linebacker able to take it down about a yard there for third and six. And I put that on the wrong side, but it's okay. Joseph Burns is out there now to play as receiver as he's taking over for Velcro. Back to pass here. The throw that toward Rutledge, and that is caught. He's able to get that one. I thought that was going to be a bad pass choice by me, but just rocketed in there and was able to snag it. Rutledge with another big catch in a big-time situation. First and goal at the four. Rulledge now with nine catches, 217 yards, and six touchdowns. As he will definitely be player of the game in this one as Moss tries to just power his way through. He gets down to the one. If we can get that to happen again, that will be a score most likely. 
See if we can just pound it straight up the gut. All three receivers to the right. As that is going to be Moss who gets taken down. Linebacker got him. So third and goal here. We don't really need to rush anything. Don't need to really do much here. This is going to be a carry by Moss, and Moss will get stopped at the line. That's okay, though, as that will be fourth down, ball on the three-yard line, so we'll kick a field goal here. So this will be a, an 18-yard field goal here. It's probably going to be one of the easiest ones that... Uh, Homebreaker can get for three points as that'll be up in and good easily in there as Homebreaker kicks his first field goal of the day. 339 left in this one. 18 yard field goal by Homebreaker. Seven plays, 29 yards just took our time in that drive. Just killing some clock. That's all we need to do. As this kick will probably be a bad one. No, not as bad as I thought. Because that'll be off the net. Oh, yeah, I missed that one badly. Big return there as that is going to be a tackle inside slash territory. So big return there. It got blocked off and I made some bad tackling attempts there. Slash 21 yard line. First and 10 for the Wranglers. They're in prime position to try and narrow the lead, but They've not been able to do much today except for something like that. Nickerson, one shot, and McPherson finds his man, and they're going to try and go for two here. As Nickerson now with four catches, 87 yards, and two touchdowns. See what they do here as they're going to drop that one short. Coleman. On the little screen, unable to do anything with it. Three minutes to go. Slash lead at 55-37 over the Wranglers. And they'll try for an onside kick here. 21-yard pass from McPherson and Nickerson. And the Wranglers score. But now they got to try this. As that kick will go. As Vandiver will finally get taken down inside the 15. So first down Slash. I don't know why Coleman is talking trash. His team is getting destroyed right now. So here we go. We'll give Dewan Moss a few more carries here. As that is going to be a good handoff there. Moss is going to get jammed up. Could not cut back up field there as he just ran into everybody. So two and a half minutes left in the game as the Slash have this one in hand. And this will be a toss out to the right. Pearson able to get a carry that time. He'll get a couple. We will actually go back to the pass here on this one. We know we'll be stopped here, so we want to score. As Rutledge will take off. And Russell's just going to take it. And he'll just go down for a sack there. So defense stops him on that one. As uh, they helped his man up there. So we'll just kick a field goal. A couple minutes left. This will be about a 34, 35 yard field goal here. So McKenzie Homebreaker will kick this one. It'll go up over and good. So three more points for the slash as we're just pretty much trying to ease off the gas. 58-37 the score, so it is still a 21-point lead and with less than two minutes to go 
This game is over. 35 yard field goal by Homebreaker. The drive goes nowhere, but the score goes upwards. As this will be a big kick again by Homebreaker. Homebreaker good about pinning the defense as that is a touchback. Ball is going to be on the five yard line. First and 10. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Austin just going to try and see if they can score to save face. Back to pass here. As that is going to be a dump off short. Robinson might have got a yard there. Good tackle by Victor Velcro as he stopped him. Now a minute and a half to go. Second and nine. Those short passes normally do not work out too well. But, um, I mean, sometimes you just got to try some different things. There's that short pass will go to Nickerson to the left as Velcro was on him, couldn't stop him. Austin will call a timeout, third and four now on the 11 when 119 left in the game. All three receivers to the right, Robinson on the inside, and they're going to take off. And as Vion tried to swat that one, and that is holding. Humphreys called for holding. So that will back them up third and ten now. As that was a five-yard penalty, Golston happy about that call. Zarek Golston has been a solid foundation in the middle of that line. As he will come back out there with Viong and Van Diver to stop him on third down here. All three receivers to the right again. Back to pass as uh, that'll be a good lob to the left. Robinson taken down as that is first down for the, for the Wranglers. <laughs> Velcro's like, whatever, dude. So Austin now, their own 22-yard line, 12 for 21 on the day for McPherson. Five touchdowns, one interception. So not a lot against him today in this one, except for his early inaccuracies in that interception. That is two interceptions now as Velcro gets himself an interception on the day. One minute left in the game so we got to try and get some positive yards here to keep the clock running as Rutledge will take off here as Moss looked like he did get a yard so that will keep the clock running We'll actually pass this one. Let's go back to the tried and true yo-yo cross in. As Damian Rutledge will obviously get player of the game in this one. Victor, ba uh, Victor Velcro, Cornelius Bonner, and Damian Rutledge are receivers. As back to pass, Rutledge is going to be defended, and that is going to be incomplete. Hawk will continue to run as... Apparently we had a glitch there. They might have said he caught that. I don't know why. As I just got something at 10 consecutive receptions. They called that one a catch somehow, but okay, whatever. Moss will get the ball. He'll get about three on that carry. As that will run the clock down to nothing. So that little glitcher at the end was interesting, but gave me a new team. Why not? <laughs> All right. It did not change the outcome of this game as it was well in hand since the beginning. Cincinnati Slash beat the Austin Wranglers and shoved them down the division even further as uh, they go from second place to what could be third here after that loss. So Slash showing their domination of the National Southern Division as regulars will walk away. They've got to lick their wounds here after this loss. A big one as their defense just could not show up today. As we'll take a look at the final stats. Slash win 58-37 over the Wranglers and uh, 
264 passing yards for the Slash with 20 rushing yards. Wranglers, though, a lot better. Uh, 216 yards passing but 40 rushing yards. So both teams will end with the kick return yards, both totaling 327 yards on the day. Three takeaways by the Slash today as they caused a lot of problems. Two interceptions and one fumble recovery. Slash were two for five on third down. A lot of that due to the fact that we ran the ball and just killed clock. Wranglers four for six on the day. They did good there, but fourth down and two-point conversions were not their best today. We checked the final stats for the quarterbacks. Adrian McPherson, 97.7 rating, five touchdowns, two interceptions, 12 for 22 for 54 percent completion and a sack and Russell ends the day 158.3 rating 270 yards six touchdowns 12 for 13 on the day near perfect one of the best passing showcases that this man has had 92 percent completion beautiful day one sack against him only because he didn't want to risk anything uh, rushing it was all McPherson Three attempts, he had 28 yards as he was able to get out of the pocket a few times. Shia Verini had three attempts, and he finally got some good yards. He got eight yards out of it. Crager able to get one carry for seven yards, and then Coleman with a loss. While Dewan Moss, 16 attempts today, 19 yards, so not bad day for him. And Sharon Pearson also had a carry for a yard. As we check out receiving, Cedric Robinson and Kevin Nickerson each with five Catches Robinson with 68 yards and a touchdown, while Nickerson had 91 and two touchdowns. Shea Verini a couple of catches and a couple of touchdowns for him, so they spread the ball around. We did not. We found Damian Rutledge and we gave him the football a ton. Ten receptions, 233 yards, six touchdowns. Velcro had one for 22, and Bonner one for 15, as well as Golston and Vion get a pancake in today's game. While Sherian Pearson allowed the sack, Crager with three ta uh, three um, pancakes, Shiaver eating with two, Nickerson, Robinson, Thomas, Rubio, and Humphrey each with a pancake while Humphrey gave up the sack. Defensively, Dane Crager played huge in the linebacker role, six tackles, five tackles for Robinson, Mason with four, Franklin with four. Three tackles each for Rubio and Shea Verini, Nickerson, Humphrey, Coleman, and Coggins each have a tackle as well, while Velcro and Burns each end the day with six tackles. Velcro with an interception, Golston with a couple of tackles, Johnson with a tackle, Van Diver with a tackle and sack, Pearson, Monopia, Bailey, and Moss each get a tackle as well, while Moss was able to get an interception in this one. Cornelius Bonner on the day ended up getting a pass deflection so he had that for him while well, one thing we did not mention uh it was uh, bernard bailey that picked up that caused the fumble and got the fumble recovery as well todd sievers and mckenzie homebreaker both perfect on the day in their field goals uh sievers hit the 26 yarder homebreaker hit all three of his the longest being the 35-yarder, as everything was under 30 yards. The majority were uh, within the 16 to 29-yard range. So, great game today for the Slash. We definitely did everything we possibly could to bring this victory. So, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about it. Appreciate you. Have a great day. May God bless you.